Hi all, Kyber one here, and uh, today we are doing a core rules review, and this is the PIP system core book, and this is a multi-genre game with pretty good uh, character variety in it. It's got some a, an excellent system for beginners to run. This says to use D6s. And how the, how the mechanics work is, say you have uh, 10 white dice, 10 black dice, all D6s, right? So 20 dice, half and half. Um, your white dice represents your character's ability and their skill. And the black dice represents the challenge and the environment. So you, you roll your opposing forces and... A four, five, or six is the only thing that counts. Okay, so you have a 50% chance on both sets of dice. Anything less than a four, you ignore. If the white dice outweigh the black dice, you succeed. If the black dice outweigh the white dice, you fail. If you have three or more white dice than black dice succeeding then that is epic success. If you have three or more successful black dice, then that is an epic failure. And it, so basically you're, you're comparing the numbers. So say you have four black dice and one white dice that all succeed. Okay, so the difference is you have three, so that is an epic failure. Say the corners return, Four white dice, one black dice succeed. Three and zero now. You have an epic success because three whites, zero black. And basically you look at Nat Gaines like that. Now this is multi-genre and this kind of reminds me of Big Eye Small Mouth 2nd Edition, but it's way, way faster. I mean, I could explain the core mechanic of it in less than two minutes. Um, and, and that's the PIP system, really. Uh, what you need to play, the rules in this book, a copy of the character sheet in the back of the book, pencils and scratch paper for notes, 10 white dice and 10 black dice, all D6s. You could use whatever you want, really, as long as you are aware of where the 50% line mark is. For instance, if you're if you can only find D fours for whatever reason, one and two don't count. Three and four count. Okay, if you can only find D tens, one through five don't count. Six, seven, eight, nine, and zero or ten count. Or or if you want to get weird with it, count the zero towards the bottom end. Whatever. You you don't need to utilize the dice that they have specified here because you understand where that fine line is. And you don't have to use black and white. You can use blue and red. You know, uh, think of them as lightsabers, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, so the, the core is super simple to learn. Um, and then making characters. Three steps, choose an archetype, choose skills and qualities. And step three, random charts. Okay, so our character archetypes are adventurer, artist, brute, chef, child of nature, faithful, hunter, jax, magic user, <clears throat> marksman, noble, performer, politician, sleuth, tinker, warrior. Okay. And every single one of them has a special ability and a hindrance. Uh, for instance, the warrior's special ability is a new challenger. Okay. And then the hindrance is guardian. Warriors are very protective of their friends. Almost to a fault, of a warrior tries to shield their friends from any dangers they perceive. So, yeah. And then... Uh, the skills and qualities work on a 0-5 through five scale. Untrained, 0. Dabbler, 1. Hobbyist, 2. Established, 3. Veteran, 4. Expert, 5. 
So the points you spend to develop your skill, um, okay. Okay, so each rank costs 1 BP unless it is for rank 5, which costs 2 BP apiece. Advanced qualities cost 2 BP, but require certain prerequisites to purchase. And then rank caps. Beginning characters are usually limited to rank 4 in any skill. However, for certain character concepts, or if the story is uh, for more hardened characters, the, the GM basically may allow for higher ranks at the start. And that's pretty cool. And let's see, where are we? You have advanced qualities, but I really want to get to these uh, step three randomized charts. Every setting you're playing in has randomized charts, and every single one of them has fun items. Okay, but for modern, you have modern tech, appearance, contacts, clothing, and weapons. And of course, fantasy, fun items. Ancient wisdom features uh, garments. The esoteric, weapons. Sci-fi, you have research tools, features, clothing, the weird, and weapons. Spooky, you know, fun, mystery, Appearance, clothing, weird, and weapons. Then other concepts. Uh, your character connections and your background. And then you have past, present, and future. So the rolling the 2d6, one black, one white. The, fr the white die counts yours, uh, what you would say first. So if we roll the 6... You always wanted to be a hero, and then say you rolled a four, but you aim to fix things. And that doesn't really sound... I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then the present, let's say we roll the two and a three, right? You want to overcome all challenges because a promise is a promise. It doesn't really fit, like... This is the one section that it doesn't really fit. Now, let's say future three and four, okay? You know you'll win in the end and discover if you are the hero or the villain. That one actually kind of works under certain circumstances. Um, and right after that, you have a quick reference, and this is super cool. Being right after that means you don't have to flip to the end of the book. I, I explain the core rules in less than two minutes. And character creation. I, it looks like we might have the same artists as some of the Fate books, by the way. But there's just a lot going on for this book. And... The, the villains are pretty cool. And you have range modifiers. Like, a, a lot of this... It, like, it's way easier to use than you first think a role-playing game should be. And for that... It, like, I have nothing but praise for what this book brings to the table. And you have a ton of enemies of different types. And then you have Game Master Tips. So, for me... I highly recommend the PIP system core rulebook. It has a lot going for it. In 142 pages, this was back through Kickstarter. This is one of those examples of where Kickstarter really did something good. Um, so once again, highly recommended. Kyber 1 out.